Good morning, guys. We're back at our little local lake here. Weather's been extremely hot, extremely humid. We're in the middle of like a heat wave, and uh, I don't think it's gonna be good fishing, but we're gonna see what we can do here. Water's calm, we're gonna have bluebird skies, we're gonna be up in the high 90s again, so nah, might have to go super slow, but we'll figure it out. I'll throw a few things, see if I can pull any fish out of some grass. If not, I'll go up shallower, and if nothing's really working, I'll slow down, but we'll try cranks, chatters, swim baits, glide baits, and uh, probably slow it down. All right, stay with us. All right, guys, I got this loon colored whopper plopper tied on here. This one's from that Timu app as well. Since it's so early, I'm gonna try top water, even though it's uh might not work because it is so calm, but it is a black one. And the only thing the fish can really see is that disturbance. So sometimes they just come up after it. So we'll just crank it in and see what we can do. Right there it's shallow and it comes down uh, super deep, quick. And I smell a dead animal. There's definitely a dead animal around here somewhere. That is disgusting. Oh boy. All right, it's top water, so I'm just gonna let this Whopper plopper top water footage run. And then once I start hitting for the, there's some fish right there. I see those guys, they're about, there's a grass pile and there's fish right behind them, about eight feet down. That was uh, right where I just went over the top back here. So I know that there's gonna be some fish there. So once I get up here far enough, I can spin around, probably throw like a crankbait down there to get to those because they ain't that deep. Just throw like a five foot diver down there. Might be able to get them out of there if they're bass. It's always fun to try top water though. I think anyone who fishes could admit top water bites just bomb. I'm sure we'll get something. I see little fish popping. We might get something on this top water bite here. If not, we'll go deeper. Since it's been so warm, I don't know if these guys will hit it, but. Ooh, just had one. Oh, there he goes. He got it. There we go. First fish on top water. It's down in that grass, too. Oh, he's going to jump. There he is, way over there. Got another one with him. They love digging down on that grass. There he is. Not a big guy, but come here. We'll take you, Mr. Fishy. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> nice. First fish on top water. I love it. Jesus, get out of there, it's only right there. Why is that so hard? These hooks are sticky, I'll tell you that. 
There it goes. First fish on the whopper plopper, guys. Top water in the morning is always awesome. Probably a little, maybe, I don't know, maybe a two. He might be pushing two, but beautiful fish. He, thank you, sir. All right. Let's see if there's any more top water. Right, I threw over by the, uh, there's like some seaweed floating on the top. I don't know, see if there's more. There's one. Down that grass. Dang. Come out of that grass. This one does not want to come in. Uh oh. <clears throat> nice one. Wow, these fish are so warm. Look at that. What a beauty on the whopper plopper. Get the grass out of her mouth here. We'll let her go. I don't know what it is with these hooks, man, but that was that little hook in the bottom. Jesus, they just catch everything. All right, well, there we go. Beautiful fish. Oh, dear. Hello, little deer. Got one on the white chatter bait. Oh, that's a good one too. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. There we go. It's been a little minute since we got one, but this fatty was hanging up in the underneath that tree up there and I caught it on a white chatterbait with the uh, Parsons uh, grub here the trailer little paddle tail with the red flake and gold she absolutely killed it that's a beautiful fish right here another like two and a half pounder I don't think we're gonna catch any monsters today honestly all right 
you unhooked, send you on your way. Thank you for playing. Right back over there. Yeah, it's been a while since we got a bite. I ended up going smaller. Figured maybe they didn't want nothing big and uh, went with a little Ned rig. And we got a nice, wow, there's one, two, three, four of them right there with her. Do we have another rod set up? I do. What's this one got on there? Oh, this don't have shit on there though. Oh man. I wonder if I could, uh, I'm probably gonna end up losing her. Oh man. I don't think I'm gonna get one with this, but I'll try. try to get one she's actually a good size so I don't want to toy around with her too long here yes that is a tank of a bass for in here absolutely That's a big fish for in here. Wow. It's probably a f close to a five, maybe. Wow. Look at that one, guys. That is a fat mama. Parsons grub on a little Ned rig. Just got this big girl. Wow. We're gonna have to try to get a weight and a uh, couple of pictures with her. There we go. 4.1 4 guys Wow, that's a good one 4.1 All right Four point one Parsons grub On a little Ned rig guess I just had a downsize. It's a hot day. So Wow She's a big girl. That's a beautiful fish right there, guys. That is absolutely a beautiful fish. Look at that, right into the grass. You won't even know she's there. You can go across the top of this with a with a, any graph you have, you're not gonna know that fish is down in there. That's why I decided to just say, hey, screw the graph. Let's throw a little Ned rig around. And there we go. And then when I had her out here, there was like three or four with her that were pretty good size too. So I'm going to get back out of here. Hopefully I didn't spook them too bad. Maybe I can catch some of the fish she was with. Well, got another Ned rig. He's a, he's an acrobatic here. Well, here he goes again. <laughs> Come on, little guy. You're a little compared to the big mama we just got. Well, you're a fighter. He does not want to come in. Look at him down there. Dang, he's... I need some line here. Oh, we're wrapped around the thing, so... Oh, man. How'd that feel? You just knocked yourself out. <clears throat> wow. This one's built like a freaking brick. It's so short. But fat. <clears throat> cool. See ya. Parsons grub again. I'm gonna freaking keep using this thing just until it, and it's it's not even halfway torn, not even a little piece. So durable, look at the action, guys. That's Parsons grub right there. See that action? That's what's getting them right there. Yeah. Just wanna show you guys something real quick. Hopefully you all can see it. Here's my little uh, down view here. It um, it shows you them little blue bubbles. Like right there, the blue, you see you got the green, it's the grass, you got the bottom. You got these little blue bubbles all through here. That's the thermocline. 
and it's hitting right around that 12 foot to 16 foot so you kind of want to fish in that 10 foot or less range the fish won't really go down in there because there's not really much oxygen so the fish will kind of stay above that so if you ever see that thermal climb you can see here um, you want to you want to fish above that just so you guys uh, you guys have graphs and don't really know that but yeah fish above that thermal climb got this guy out of grass He's a freaking fighter and a half what a weird way he got hooked though I don't know oh right in his, that his tongue oh dang sorry probably gonna lose your taste buds oh man he's bleeding like a mother <clears throat> I'll let him go I mean he should be all right that was just his tongue, but that sucks. Well, that's the first bloody one of the day, anyway. Sorry, airfish. Oh no, he's got me under a stick or something. Oh no. Oh, he's out. I don't know what it looks like yet. I haven't seen it, but I imagine it ain't too small. Eh, ain't bad. Not a big one. Actually, I don't even need, eh. I don't need the net. I don't need the net. That ain't a bad one though. Cruising up under the tree. Another one on Parsons Grub. Look at that. Nice fish. Ain't that four pounder, but nonetheless, game on. <laughs> there you go, little buddy. Oh, we got ourselves one here got off of that tree. Man, it's been a, about 30 minutes here since I caught one. He's ready to give up. <laughs> Ow. Still on that grub. They're killing it. Another probably two and a quarter. Not a bad fish. I was going to go pack up, but I decided to fish this little cove area that I always skip over because I just launch from it and I just skip over it but decided to fish it and yeah there's a there's a largey chilling right there Parsons grub doing it again still holding up too all them fish guys are all on that same grub I'm telling you if you guys are interested in getting any of these things I'm gonna put a link in the description because uh they work man and they're beyond durable I caught Probably a total of what, eight fish maybe? Probably 10, not counting the small ones or whatever, but, and uh, it's still kicking. Got that guy. So this is what it looks like, and all that right there is because I had to keep rehooking it. But uh, they're so durable. If you had like a different bait, it would, uh, probably wouldn't even hold up as good. Here, a big one. Hey, just squirt the water out of his nose. There he goes. Oh, great. Where's he going? All right, guys, we're gonna end it there. We didn't do too bad considering as how hot it's been, and I, I didn't even think we would do as good as we did. Honestly, I think we caught like six or eight fish. I caught a couple little ones I did not even got to put on there and a couple of rock bass and perch and stuff. But I ended up, uh, I usually go to my go-to baits, my chatter baits and my uh, crank baits. And I wasn't getting anything on them. So I downsized to just a really small Ned rig. I think that's like a quarter ounce, maybe even a little bit less. And that's that Parsons Grub, uh, three inch garlic grub. I'm going to put the link in the description. Um, you know, I support the guy, he supports me. He's, he makes some really good baits. They're really, really uh, well made. 
very durable. I caught all those fish on that same grub. I didn't even have to replace it. Um, yeah, so I mean, I'm going to put that link in the description. And the price, guys, they're cheaper than anything that you'll buy. And they'll last. I mean, they have different colors. Yeah, I think he has browns, greens, the uh, whites. And he has paddle tails as well. The smoked paddle tails work really good too. So if you guys don't mind, go ahead and jump on that link. And uh, I know if, even if you're not from the area, but I like to support local. So, I mean, if you're not from the area, just grab some. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. They work. I caught the four pounder on them. I caught them all the way down to like one, one and a half pounds. So to catch everything. But uh, thanks for stopping by, guys. Really appreciate you. We're, we're climbing. We're at like 400 and almost 460, I think. So as soon as I hit that 500 subscriber mark, we're going to do a giveaway, guys. So I appreciate y'all. And uh, get out and uh, do some fishing, guys. Peace.